is the fourth stage of Indian democracy. The other three are legislative, executive and the judicial. Journalism is basically gathering and presenting news and information, be it for writing, for the magazine, print media, news website, blog, newspaper or prepare news for the telecast. The medium of broadcasting the news could be either print media, a radio, or internet, television, blog or any other source. Different types of journalism. Journalism has a number of forms and styles. So the first one of which we all are familiar and we keep seeing it frequently on television. Yes, it is the investigative type of journalism. As the word says, it is basically based on investigating the truth about a particular subject, person or an event. This kind of journalism is based on verification and accurate presentation of facts. This kind of journalism gets the highest TRP for the news channel or the uh, news media channels and that's where they get more ads coming on the channels and they get more revenue. So most of the news channels are largely focusing on investigative journalism. And even the audience are more interested in investigative journalism because they want to know what is the truth. As the properly told, India wants to know what is the truth, right? So investigative, investigative journalism has a lot of scope because so many incidents keep happening and people want to know the very the, the truth, they want to go to the truth of the matter. So the latest thing uh, like you know what is happening which is a part of investigative journalism is I would say sometimes like the betting in IPL, who is involved, who is not, who is a bookie, what is the amount involved and so on. Then the case of Sushant Singh Rajput, there's so much of you know every day a new new point keeps coming and they're not happening in the news, breaking news, again every single day you find breaking news, right? So which is a part of uh, investigative journalism. The second one is fairly easy and uh, which is more of information based that is uh, news journalism which is very elementary in nature. So the thing is the news stories lack the depth of the questions of an investigative story. Then we have reviews. So on the basis of research and experience you provide an intelligent and informed opinion about a particular subject. So if you are a subject matter expert you provide your reviews for a particular Thing. Then we have a feature writing. So feature writing is a longer piece of information. It's a longer form of writing than a news story. Features comes in many different types and are widely used in magazines where we have large articles which runs to three to four pages or five to six pages. The cover story. Then we have uh, many a times featured writers who are you know popular from a particular industry or celebrities. And apart from magazines, feature writing is also used in newspaper as well as in online medium. So friends, now let us look at what are the various skills you require to be a good journalist and to have success in this field. So the first one is good writing. Of course, because journalism is all about communication, so good writing skills are very, very important. And apart from that, you require good editing and research skills as well. Then to present the news, you need to edit it. So you require good computer skills for editing it, for lay for layouts and you know for so many other things. Then very good interviewing skills are required because many times you need to interview people in uh, journalism. So good interviewing skills, good probing skills, good knack of answering the right questions is very very important. Then honesty and integrity because presenting the information in the right way is very very important. Then time management skills because time is very critical in journalism and every day the audience wants something new right they don't want to stay in news then you should be willing to travel a lot if your work demands and you should have interest in politics and social justice as well most of the news revolves right then again you should have leadership skills as well as working in a team to along with the other crew members right and uh, also you should be able to have your own 
ideas and opinions which need to express whenever the situation demands. Now guys, let us look at what are various course and career options in the field of journalism. So in journalism, you have need to have a bachelor's degree in journalism or communication and you want to go in journalism, you have to have a degree if you want to go into print journalism and if you want to choose a field of communication, you have to have a degree in broadcast journalism. So either it could be print journalism or it could be a broadcast journalism. And in journalism, you need to work. Your work experience is very, very important. So to get a good work experience as a fresher, you should always be willing to work as an intern in any of the media outlets, which is very, very important for you to get a secure job in the field. So don't forget, uh, internship is very, very critical in the field of journalism. Now let us look at what are the various career options for a journalist. So the first one is, as we all know, we all read newspaper. It is the editor of a newspaper or a magazine, which is one of the most coveted position in the field of journalism. And if you have good in drawing, you have creativity, imagination, visualization, you can still be have a career in journalism and you can be a cartoonist, right? We have R.K. Lashman, one of the very famous cartoonists who passed away recently. And then a picture speaks a thousand words. So photojournalist is also a very rewarding career. If you have flair for photography, this could be a career for you combining with photography. Then of course proofreader. So if you are a very good in grammar and if your English is a favorite subject, you can be a proofreader. Then a feature writer, as I discussed some time back, who write a longer form of a story. Then we have correspondent who reports from the site wherever the news is happening. Then we have special reporter for special cases. Then we have critic. We have presenters who present the news. Then we have researchers who get into the depth of the field and do a research. Then we have reporters. We have broadcast reporters. And lastly, we have columnists who write columns in the particular newspaper or blog. So now guys, let us look at what are salaries in the field of journalism. In India, a starter may get rupees 15,000 to rupees 20,000 and it will go on increasing with years like 30,000, 40,000, 50,000 etc. Senior reporters after 10 to 12 years may get 1 to 2 lakh rupees of salary and a chief editor which is the most coveted position and most uh, topmost position may get anywhere between rupees 5 lakhs plus or even more based upon the media outlet and his experience in various fields previously. The, and the guys coming to a very important point uh, friends in journalism the thing is even if you study a lot if you're a bookworm and you are the top earning class and even if you do your BSc in journalism from the best of the best colleges or the university and your score is always in 90s but your experience is zero you can earn maybe rupees 10,000 per month yes not more than that because experience is important than percentage in the field of journalism. Marks don't matter in journalism if your experience is null. Journalism is good for more interactive or experienced people. So now let us look at which are the top most interviews for journalism in the country. So the first is we have IIMC, Indian Institute of Mass Communication, Delhi. Then we have Xavier's Institute of Communication, which is based in Mumbai. Then we have very old college based in Chennai. It is called as Asian College of Journalism. Then we have a big group, Symbiosis Institute of Mass Communication, which is based in Pune. Then we have AJ Kidwai Mass Communication and Research Center, which is based in New Delhi. So these are all the top five uh, colleges in no particular order and it keeps changing over a period of time. The list keeps getting revised every year, every two years, three years based upon the placements what they are getting the students, based upon the average salary, based upon the companies which are recruiting from these particular colleges. So all these factors determine the rank of the colleges, right? And apart from this top five, we have uh, number six, Mudra Institute of Communication which is based in Ahmedabad, so it is called in short as MICA, M-I-C-A, Mudra Institute of Communication, Ahmedabad. 
Then we have Indian Institute of Journalism and New Media, which is based in Bangalore. So hereafter we discuss the colleges based in South. So first one is as I told you, Indian Institute of Journalism and New Media based in Bangalore. Then we have uh, Christ University, which is again based in Bangalore, with a huge campus and a very popular college in the Bangalore city. Then we have Jin University, which is again based in Bangalore. And it is known to have a lot of upgraded equipments and you know production facilities. So practicals are much better here. That's what one of my colleagues told me. And we have a very big group, it is Manipal group, which is also into education, hospitals, and lot many things. So even they have journalism, which is School of Communication, based in Manipal. And then we have a very famous college in Delhi. We have Lady Sri Ram College. And then we have Madras Christian College based in Chennai. So guys, uh, we have covered almost everything. We have covered the top post colleges, the salaries, the various career options in journalism. So usually I keep getting asked a few questions by the students. So I just cover the top three questions asked in journalism. So the first one is, uh, is journalism a good career? Journalism remains an essential occupation even in this digital age as well, right? The circulation of newspaper has kept on increasing even in this digital age as well. When all the news we get it on our browser or in the app, but still people like to have that physical feel of a newspaper early in the morning along with a cup of coffee. And whether you are covering local stories or global events, you need to have certain qualities to do a great job. That is strong analytical skills along with specialist knowledge can help you become a successful journalist. The next question I usually face by student is, is journalism a stressful job? From the lowest beat reporter to the news media executive, it's one of the most stressful careers around. Journalists have to deal with deadlines, busy work environments, crazy schedules of travels, demanding editors, which is very difficult to satisfy them, who keep demanding more and more from you as you deliver more and more and most importantly a more demanding public the nation wants to know and the fear of always being laid off from your job and the last question is do journalists travel my answer to this would be journalists at smaller newspapers and news sites are likely to be based in one place it could be a city or a country or etc whatever it is and unlikely to travel much Whereas freelancers can move quite a bit, but in a lot of cases, the places they go for work aren't the one which you would prefer for a vacation or for a high honeymoon. They're the most unlikely places where they have to go and cover the news. Right guys, so hope this session was very useful for each one of you to take an informed decision about careers in journalism. So if you have any questions, please drop in a comment and press the bell icon and subscribe to the channel for more of such updates on various careers and uh, do comment if you have any queries thank you for watching take care bye bye